hi guys welcome to this video in this video I'm going to show you some of the features of Google data studio so data studio is another data visualization tool just like uh, we have tableau and it is pretty good although uh, it's a, a comparatively new data visualization tool so a lot of options that you may see on tableau are not available on this one yet and uh, so that's why you may find this to be a little bit more inflexible or uh, limited uh, however it is still uh, pretty useful it has a lot of options so i'm going to show you some of the uh, options some of the uh, visualizations that are available on data studio and you can then play around and uh, uh, work with it one of the good things about this is this is completely free unlike tableau where you either need um, a student version a professional version or you just get like a trial version uh, this one is completely free so if you just have a gmail id you can log into this and you can start uh, working with this and you don't necessarily need access to any kind of database uh, because this particular tool even connects to google sheet so you can have your uh, data on a Google Sheet and then you can connect Data Studio to that and play around with it, right? So if you get any data set, you can very easily uh, try some visualizations on Data Studio using uh, that data. So to get started, um, you have your option here, uh, start a new report, there are some uh, uh, options here where you can check out uh, sample uh, uh, dashboards but if you want to create your own you can just go over here and you can do uh, start a new report so if I do that uh, it will open up a new window uh, where generally it will show you just a blank sheet like this and it says untitled report but as you can see I can rename it to anything that I want so if I say uh, test report you can name it accordingly uh, whatever data or application that is related to it and uh, up here uh, is the option of view so right now I'm in the um, edit mode so if I click this one uh, then it takes me to the view mode. So this is the view mode and if I click again here on edit it takes me back to uh, the uh, edit mode. So uh, unlike Tableau it seems very um, you know that there are no uh, things to select here. It's a very clean uh, interface but you do have a lot of options here. These are some sample data sets here on the side that maybe you can also uh, try but uh, here on the top let's see so we have an option which says make a copy of this report if you want to copy it uh, refresh data so if you have some visualizations then you can uh, refresh it it will uh, re-query the databases or uh, re-query the google sheet or whatever data source that is accessing and display the new data uh, this is full screen uh, this is to embed the report uh, get a link for the report uh, schedule email delivery so if you click on this one uh, you can have your uh, uh, report delivered on uh, particular uh, dates and you can even choose how frequently you want the report to be delivered and you can choose the recipients so this is an, a good option I would say if uh, in your work you want this report to be sent to some people on a particular day maybe on Friday you can schedule it through uh, data studio and then here we have an option also to uh, download uh, this report and here on the side if I want to share my report with multiple people just like we have option on Google slides uh, or docs that we can share it with other people so that they can also come and view it or edit it that option is also available over here which makes it pretty uh, good uh, an option to share it with your team members and give them the proper access if you are working on it you can give edit access to someone else they can help you build your report so these are some of the options here now if I want to create a new 
data source that's probably is the very first step you want to create a new data source out of all the data sources available that you may have available in your organization first you select the data source then you select what kind of visual you want to create it with create with it and then you uh, go on and create it so if i uh, choose create new data source you can see all these options that are available over here from which i can pull my data there is bigquery if you work with the google cloud platform and you store your data on the google cloud you might be using google bigquery so you can connect to that you can connect to my sql as well uh, if you are working with uh, relational databases uh, these are probably the two things that i use the most uh, then obviously there is Google Sheets, which I sometimes use and then also Google Analytics and then there are so many other uh, options as well over here uh, to to connect. So yeah, so all, all these are different options that uh, you can work with, which I think makes it pretty powerful even at this point, uh, uh, but uh, we have to wait and see how Google takes this forward. So this is if uh, I'm connecting it to some data source uh, at my work but uh, just for the sake of this video I'm just going to select this sample YouTube uh, data over here and uh, so once I uh, select uh, the data source kind of uh, changes the, the layout a little bit and uh, the interface now shows me a lot of different options uh, at the top over here which were previously not there so i have an option here the very first one which says add a page so if i have multiple pages on my dashboard uh, i can go ahead and add it over here and i can give them names also and then i have this is like undo button and all and then this is the most important one i would say because it contains the list of all the visuals that you can create on data studio now there are not like a lot of options i think compared to tableau there are not as many options but uh, still uh, the most important things like bar graph and stack bar graphs and line graphs uh, uh, you know uh, those are definitely there scatter plot is there and then one option that's not there on tableau which is the bullet graph i think it's very useful that's on here and then obviously we have the pie chart but then most people uh, don't really prefer using it and then uh, we have this uh, geo map option here and another cool thing that is on this one is this scorecard option which kind of uh, allows you to display numbers on your uh, on your dashboard and it also gives you an option to uh, show how much this number has increased or decreased as compared to a previous period uh, maybe last year or last week or last month uh, so that you can not only see that okay right now what is uh, let's say my revenue but you can also see whether this revenue is uh, greater than last year or less than last year and by how much so you get that option and then these are regular tables uh, that you can build and let's say now I want to build uh, some uh, plot then I all I have to do uh, is that I have to go and click here and uh, it will then by default try to create a plot for me based on the data now I haven't done anything I haven't chosen what's the x-axis what the y-axis uh, data studio is automatically just kind of intelligent enough to figure out okay this is a time series uh, plot so I should choose a date time field on my x-axis and so it went ahead and it saw that there is a date field over here so it put that on the x-axis and then it tried to put something on the y-axis and it just by default is choosing watch time over here so now there are a few more things here that is visible one is this tab which is called the data tab and then this is the other tab which is the uh, style tab so these are the options that I can see now that I have uh, added this uh, this plot over here so I get to see these options so let's see what's on there so first thing is the data source uh, 
So it is telling me that uh, this is your data source, the YouTube data. And then here it is showing me the list of all the available uh, fields. Then it is uh, showing me a date range dimension. Actually, I can work with it to kind of add a date thing. So right, if I choose this option, uh, date range uh, over here it's um, uh, on the header portion I get this option where I can actually change uh, the date on my uh, change my graph based on the date that I'm choosing right so if I go over here uh, in the date range dimension I have selected the date field and I also have this option over here so as I change my dates it will uh, using this option so let me show you how that is so I just went to view mode and this uh, date uh, option is allowing me to choose different dates so if I select a date range then accordingly my graph will get updated right but to be able to do that I must give the date field over here date range dimension this date range relates to this date range and then uh, time dimension it is the x-axis over here and then metric what is the field that I want to show on my y-axis right so you can choose this you can actually drag drop things from here to here uh, from the list of available fields onto the, the different parameters over here and this is the option I was saying where you can do a comparison of numbers from previous period to new period if you choose that option over here it allows you to do that uh, and then uh, the other option that I wanted to show here um, sorry let me first show the other tab so here again we have a style tab so what does this allow me to do this allows me to style my visual you know choose the colors show where these um, legend should the legend should go like here down in the bottom I have option to choose you know I can show whether I want to show my legend at the bottom or on the side right so it allows me to do all of that so you know so you can uh, go ahead and explore all of these things so here is the option for me to if I want to change the color right so uh, so the first tab allows me to show uh, to choose my data and the second tab allows me to show how uh, allows me to choose how I want to style my uh, my visual. And again, over here also I get to see all the different types of charts that are available to me. And this one is highlighted because that's the one that I'm using right now. Uh, and then now uh, here I have something called layout and theme. So again, lot of options to customize and uh, pretty uh, you know uh, self-explanatory you can uh, check uh, the fun thing you know if I choose my theme as dark uh, it gives me a dark background if I choose it as simple it keeps it as a white background so you can choose that and then it option it shows me options to choose my chart palette uh, what kind of colors I can define my own colors if I want and then dimension values it allows me to uh, may not be possible for this graph but let's say I have a bar graph and I want to give my all my bars different colors so then I can go and do that I can choose for each dimension what is the color and this will allow me to kind of yeah, you know add a particular value and choose the uh, color that is associated with it so that whenever I uh, use that uh, dimension value maybe uh, on my graphs then that particular color will be assigned uh, to it so that's another option that is over here and then layout uh, you know if I again a lot of just customization if I choose no margin then the margin goes away and I can view it like one complete uh, uh, space over here instead of the outline that was previously present so if you didn't notice if I choose as margin so there is a margin over here this uh, entire space is not taken over by the dashboard but if I go and I uh, do no margin then it 
shows like this, right? So there's no margin. The entire space is taken over by the dashboard. Uh, so you can do that if you want. Uh, and then here you can choose the different sizes, um, you know, how you want uh, to display it, whether you want to go for landscape, portrait, those kind of things. And uh, then again, I was showing you the theme, so that's there. Uh, and then some other options that we have here. So this one was the chart one. Uh, then this one was where I got my date range. You can choose multiple uh, ones if you want. Then there is one more thing here called the filter option, which kind of if you want to give some interaction to your uh, users so they can interact with the graph, they can interact, of course, by choosing the dates, but they can also interact by uh, filtering out stuff. Uh, so let's say I just want to choose this one. So it is uh, the graph is automatically updating and it is showing me only uh, the time series plot for this particular uh, video ID and if I, I can choose uh, more than two then it will show me that so it's a good option to have you can add filtering option on your on your graph uh, I'm not sure what this one is I have never really used it but you can check it out uh, then here I have a text option so this one uh, you know if you want to add some kind of uh, heading or some description to your plot you can easily do that right if I do oh my test uh, visual it allows me to do that right and then you can uh, uh, change the look and feel of it here you can change the size of it you can make it bigger right and you can change the color of it right so that's another option and then here uh, you can insert some pictures on your plot and the other ones i haven't used but i think these are just to add some shapes and all to your plot so that's uh, a little overview of how uh, data studio uh, works and what all options are present on it so now see if i do add a page i get page number uh, two now so if i go to view I have two pages the first one was this page and the second one is this page so I can add more and I can add more and more pages based on how many pages of uh, dashboard I want to create right and if I go here I can also access my pages like a drop down menu and I can add a page and also another thing is if I, I can rename I can create duplicate I can hide the page in view mode or I can just delete a page if I don't want it. So a lot of options, pretty good tool. Uh, give it a try, it's free, so why not use it? Uh, and uh, uh, build some dashboards, get some practice. We are always looking for uh, tools that are free to use. So this is definitely a, a free to use tool with a lot of options. So go ahead and learn data visualization with Google Data Studio and put it on your resume. It will always look good. Uh, so that was all for this video. I hope you learned something from this video and if you have any questions feel free to ask uh, my name is sonila and i hope you have a great week ahead thank you